Welcome back to Behind the Blaze podcast, Lady Blaze edition. First, we, I would like to thank our sponsor, Dynamo Freight. Dynamo Freight is a leader in logistics that serves organizations of all sizes. They don't just connect freight and carriers. They think critically about every element of the process. Dynamo Freight is excited to be sponsoring Blackman High School's podcast. Thank you, Dynamo Freight. Um, so today I'm here with Kaylin Flowers. What's up, everyone? And Ayana Dunbar, AD. Hey. <laughs> I am so glad that you guys could join me today. Um, first, I just want to talk about a little bit about Flowers, as we say. Um, junior averages 11.6 points per game. Now, Kaylin, I looked when I was looking at your stats. I'm very impressed with this. Three assists a game. Not many people are doing that, Kaylin. One of one. <laughs> different. <laughs> Built different. <laughs> also, as a point guard, 3.3 rebounds per game. That's pretty awesome. Um, now, Kaylin, you've been injured for, you know, about, what, four games, we said? So, I just kind of want to talk about that. Like, how have you been feeling? You know, how have you stayed locked in? Because I think you have been. Like, I think you know everything that's going on. You probably still know all the plays, everything new that we put in. So, what's been your mindset through being injured? You know, injuries are hard. You know, it's something hard to deal with. But mm -hmm. I didn't want to dwell on it too much because at the end of the day, I still have my teammates out there playing. And I have to support them and be on their side and just still be, lo like, locked in and focused on that. Because if I lose track in that, when I come back, I'm not going to be in the same mindset that I was before. So, I think that's just something so important to me as like a player that I still have to be focused and locked mm -hmm. in while I'm not even on And the especially floor. as the floor general, right? Exactly. I mean, exactly. you you're still I would say the floor general. Um so when you come back, great. So we have a <laughs> we're looking good, right? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> oh. Okay, sorry. All right, G fantastic. Okay, um now AD so, AD, you average f almost five points a game and three rebounds a game. Fantastic for a post player. Um, AD, I just want to talk about you coming into that starter role, you know, from being, what, six men off the bench, mm -hmm. now into a starter role. How has that been, and how have you um, stayed focused through the, the journey, I would say? You know, it's um, definitely been a process, but, you know, with Kaylin coming out, I just knew – my role was to step up, you know, mm -hmm. and I wanted to come in and play my part and so that the starting five wasn't missing anything. And so far it's been great. You know, I feel like I am can be more attentive in practice. You know, I'm focused, I'm ready. And um, it really makes me feel like I have a purpose out on the court, honestly. You know, coming in as six man, you know, I knew what I needed to do. I knew I needed to match the energy that everyone had already set for me, but now I set the pace for others. So it's mm -hmm. just been great. Fantastic, man. Last, let's talk about a little bit of last night. So we beat Riverdale, mm -hmm. right? Um, it was a good, good environment, good game. Always good to play in the district. And then Friday we go to Rockville, which, I mean, as you remember, Kaylin, that's the game you went out. Only won by ten. So what do you think for you? What do you think our uh, purpose should be on Friday? What What are you looking to for it to be better? I think what I what I think we need to be better at is just being focused and locked in on the scouting report and pay more attention to detail on that part. But also I think we can't be, be like frazzled in their environment because they'll be loud. They'll have right, a student right. section. So we still have to be focused on what we're set out to go and do. And, I mean, it's going to be a good game. Mm. Just coming off the win against Riverdale, little tune-up win, and going against Rockville is going to be a fantastic environment. And I think we should be excited about that and be thrilled to play, you know, good competition like that. So I think it's going to be a really good game. Absolutely. What do you think, A.D.? Um, I'm pretty much the same with Kaylin, just knowing that that environment is going to be very heavy, but we still have to lock in, focus on what coach is saying, focus on what you're saying, and then, you know, really keep our teammates in check. I think once we play together as one, we're way better than just five individual players. Right, right. Absolutely. Well, great. Um, now let's, let's kind of turn, turn it over and talk about college. Okay. So you both are juniors which is a big year, I would say, in recruiting. So, Kaylin, talk about your recruiting process. You know, how has it been? Because I know for me it was very stressful. So how has it been for you? It has been a little bit stressful at times. You know, it's on and off. Yeah. But I think I can't get too focused on just the future. I have right. to still be focused on the now. So I know at the end of the day I'm going to I'm gonna find that right college. I'm going to find that one. So I can't get too caught up into it. But at the end of the day I'm going to still put in the work and then in the games do my job and just be able to show that I am 
at the level to be able to play it at, in college. So I just can't get too caught into it and stress myself out too, too much. Because yeah. even now, that's what people don't know. Even now, you're injured. You was running on the sideline, dribbling, yeah. trying to shoot. I mean, even now, we're we're still trying to continue to be better, right? Exactly. I'm fantastic. All right, AD, talk about the recruiting process for you. How has it been? So, um, to start off with, the recruiting process for me was a little bit stressful, but, you know, they always say that it takes a village, and I just feel like the village surrounded by me, both school ball and travel ball, Mm -hmm. has just been great. So, I feel so comfortable in it now, and then I don't stress myself out about, you know, going D1. I'm just more so looking for the perfect fit for me where I'm going to be spending my four years. Yeah, fantastic. And I know y'all both have a – y'all both play for fantastic summer programs. I mean, B. Wright, fantastic. Brandon Clay's, fantastic. So I know that they've helped you probably so much. I mean, I love following both of them on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> they are – they. I mean, seriously, they are fantastic. I mean, they're so active, and I, I think that – they really care about their kids, which is awesome. I mean, and obviously y'all know I I will do, will do whatever. <laughs> y'all already know. All right. Um, so, Kaylin, what has been a great memory this year during basketball for you? I would just say I think the memories for me would be at pregame. I just think, you know, we get to have fun, just talk about anything and everything. But we're still locked in for the game as well. So I like that. You know, we get to just talk and yeah. eat and just have fun. Joke around. Let's exactly. not forget about that. <laughs> and joke around, of course. But, yeah, that's been really something that I take to heart. And I'm, those are going to be memories that will last a lifetime for well, me. Well, good. Okay, AD, what, what's been a great memory for you? I'd say my greatest memory is definitely once we huddle up after we're done shooting our free shots, you know, and we're just all locked into the game. We hype each other up like it's absolutely amazing. Oh, in the middle before y'all come yeah. to the bench. <laughs> yes. Um, you know, I love to talk. So, <laughs> yeah, so yeah. So tell me, what do you what do y'all say? I don't even first. All I hear is a yell and I don't even know what you say for the yell, but. Are you do y'all do you say like are y'all ready or yeah. something like that? So I start off by saying like are they ready and then they repeat with yeah and then I go in to just talk about what we're gonna be doing in the game. We need oh, to be okay. competitive. I'm like positive energy, positive attitude, good effort, regardless of the level of the team, you know, we're gonna go out and do what we have to do. Then I say what time is it and then they say game time and we do that for three times and then we <laughs> clap it up and then we're really hot. Okay, so, so- so if y'all didn't know, the Lady Blaze have a very specific <laughs> pregame. Yes. It is very specific. We warm up, okay, and we have a time. We go back in the locker room, and then, oh, I'm sorry, Kaylin, what is it called? It's called visualization. Visualization. Yes. visualization. Yes. Okay, so visualization, but I say meditate, but and they always get, get mad. <laughs> But it's visualization. They play this one song. It's I know it is. I know every word, Kaylin. Yep. I know every word. Oh. War, war, baby. Yes, uh, <laughs> war, <ma'am>. baby. <laughs> I'm a war, 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 war baby. baby. I already know it. <laughs> I listen to it uh, twice a week at least. As you should. Hey, maybe we should get you in on it. I know. Absolutely. <laughs> I need to close my eyes and think about <laughs> things too. But that's what. So they visualize, and then we have our pregame talk. Then we go out. And then they do their huddle up, mm-hmm. and then I, I have to high-five you all twice. 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 Absolutely. Okay, I have to high-five twice. Then we do starters, and then starters talk. Or before we even run out, AD, you huddle up with Lauren and Emily. <laughs> mm-hmm. I already mm-hmm. know. Yep. It's so specific. Mm-hmm. But... The, they be locked in, so I ain't that's, got no, that's. I ain't got no problems with it. <laughs> All right, well that wraps up today's um, behind the blaze podcast, Lady Blaze edition. Um, we'll be back in a few weeks with another podcast. Thank you so much for listening, and again, thank you to our sponsor, Dynamo Freight. Go Blaze! Go, Go Blaze! blaze.